Hello, this is Pastor Gene Kim of San Jose Bio Baptist Church. Today we're going to talk about four verses from the Jehovah Witness Bible that just completely destroys the Jehovah Witnesses. All you need is four. The first thing that you can think about is Jesus is Jehovah. And that's found at Revelation chapter 1. So go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 8. The Jehovah Witnesses, they do not believe Jesus Christ is Jehovah, whereas Christians do. So here's a verse that you can use to tackle them. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says Jehovah God, the one who is and who was and who is coming, the Almighty. Okay, so this is Jehovah God speaking. What did he say? Now go down to verse 17. And when I saw him, I fell as dead at his feet. And he laid his right hand upon me and said, Do not be fearful. I am the first and the last and the living one. And I became dead. But look, I am living forever and ever. And I have the keys of death and of Hades. So notice right here that Jehovah God, when did Jehovah God was alive and dead and brought again back to life? You see? That's Jesus Christ. So that proves Jesus is Jehovah. Second thing, the Holy Spirit is Jehovah. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and look at verse 17. Now Jehovah is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of Jehovah is, there is freedom. So notice right here that the Holy Spirit is is Jehovah. It says right here, now Jehovah is the Spirit. Jehovah Witnesses do not believe the Holy Spirit is Jehovah, and there you can prove that they're wrong. All right, the third thing is eternal torment, Revelation chapter 14. Jehovah Witnesses, they do not believe that after a person dies, that they will be eternally tormented in fire. They think that once you go to the lake of fire, that poof, you're annihilated, that's it. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 10, He will also drink of the wine of the anger of God that is poured out undiluted into the cup of his wrath, and he shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the sight of the holy angels and in the sight of the Lamb, and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and day and night. They have no rest, those who worship the wild beast and its image, and whoever received the mark of its name. So notice right here, that the Jehovah Witness Bible, all right, all these verses so far I have not read from the King James Bible. It's from the Jehovah Witness Bible. Their Bible says right here that the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever. So when people go to the lake of fire, they burn forever. They don't just get annihilated, poof, and that's it. All right, the last thing is John chapter 3, verse 5. Everyone can go to heaven. Everyone can go to heaven. Now, some people might say, no, that's not true. Only the 144,000 can go to heaven. Jehovah Witnesses claim that. But the Bible says something differently. Okay, look at this. John chapter 3, verse 3. In answer, Jesus said to him, Most truly I say to you, unless anyone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 5. Jesus answered, Most truly I say to you, unless anyone is born from water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Okay, so notice right here that in John chapter 3, verse 3 and 5, no one can enter into the kingdom of God. No one can enter into or see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. And that verse says, anyone is born again. You know how that person is born again, go to 1 John 5, 1 John chapter 5. So in totality right here, you'll notice that there are four things to disprove a Jehovah Witness. Is that one, Jesus is Jehovah, the Holy Spirit is Jehovah, eternal torment, everyone can go to heaven, and all these verses are listed right here for you to look at. Now the last one, let's go to 1 John chapter 5, and then verse 1. 1 John 5, 1, everyone believing that Jesus is the Christ has been born from God. You see that? Their verse says, everyone who believes on Jesus Christ, if you do that, then you are considered born from God. 
Combine that with John 3, 3 and 5. Remember, it says, unless anyone is born again, they cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So they said, everyone who believes in Jesus is born again, 1 John 5, 1. And then anyone who is born again will go to the kingdom of God. So it's not just the 144,000. So these four verses, all these verses I read, are from the Jehovah Witness Bible, okay? So these four will completely destroy the Jehovah Witness religion.